Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be testing out a full face using Morphe. Now, I feel like Morphe is a much more popular brand in the US, but I don't hear a lot about it here in Australia. They do actually have an Australian website and they are stocked at Mecca, but still, I don't hear much about them. I have tried a little bit of Morphe in the past, not too much, I just have two of their big eyeshadow palettes and I have a bunch of their brushes. I really, really like the brushes. I've got some, I think it's like the Elite 2 collection. All the brushes have this red and brown kind of bristles. But those brushes have been fantastic and have lasted me for years. But I haven't really got into their makeup. So I have been sent a bunch of products here and I am so excited to play with them. So thank you so much Morphe for sending these over so I can create this video. If you're excited to see these products in action then just keep on watching and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Okay I'm going to start by wetting this highlight and contour sponge. I'm pretty sure this is the sponge that I've seen Jaclyn Hill like she used to use it all the time. So it does feel quite soft. There's a little bit of density to it. I really don't like a dense sponge and it's quite big. Let me compare it. This is a very ratchet beauty blender. So just for size comparison, these are both dry. So let me go wet this and I'll be right back. Holy shit, it's huge. So let's compare it to the dry beauty blender again. Starting off with foundation, I have the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint, and this is a sheer to medium coverage foundation. It says that it has a lightweight and breathable formula, it hydrates, smooths, and blurs. Now from my understanding, Morphe 2 is like their latest release. They are targeting it more towards like the younger generation. It's very light and sheer makeup, but that actually really grabs my attention and I've got a few Morphe 2 products here that I'm excited to use. I grabbed the shade Hint of Latte. So this one is light with neutral to pink undertones. So when you go on the website it actually has like a foundation shade match kind of guide to help you find the right shade because I'm pretty sure there were quite a few in this range. Now this one does come with 30 mils and it's got a little dropper applicator. So let's apply a bit of this. Okay, so first impressions, I'm really liking the finish. It is very lightweight as described and it looks nice and glowy on the skin. I think the shade is maybe a touch too dark for me. So this is the side with the foundation and the side without. So as you can see, it just adds that slight bit of coverage. I think for this side, I'm going to go in with my favorite L'Oreal Anti Redness Primer and just see if I get a bit more coverage by using the primer and eliminating some of the redness. I swear there's a fly in here every time I film. Do you live here? Get out. And then I'm also just going to take some of my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer and just cover up these blemishes. Okay, so this is one layer completed. I'm actually really liking the finish. As I said before, it's really glowy. It does have that lightweight coverage, but I'm really digging it. The shade I got is just a little bit too deep, but I have blended it down my neck to try and um, hide that. <laughs> I've just zoomed in a bit so you can get a better look at my skin. Like, look how glowy it is. Damn. I'm just going to put on a tiny bit more and see if it builds up. I actually think the coverage does build up. Hear that sound there? That's the sound of a sponge I don't really love. Although it is pretty soft, I've definitely used worse. I just, I love my beauty blender. Like I can't, I just, I... Wow, I look tan. <laughs> 
Okay, so I've just set underneath my eyes and the center of my face. Now on to blush, I'm going to go in with another Morphe 2 product. This is the Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse in the shade Wish. And I am loving the look of this. I might actually use this side of my sponge and just kind of dip that in there. I'll sheer it out on my hand first. Like I don't think it's going to be too pigmented. This is what the shade looks like. I can slowly see that building up. Hmm. It's just not combining very well with the powder. I might try the brush on the other side. This is the Sigma Contour Blush Brush. Okay, that actually worked a lot better. I can see the color like straight away. But again, it's not sitting very well with where my powder is sitting. I think next time I try it, I might set my entire face, like my cheeks included, and see how it applies over powder. But besides that, it's a nice sheer blush and it's still giving quite a glow to the skin, which I really love. For highlighter, I have two here. The first one is by Maddie Ziegler. I hope I'm saying her name correct. And this is called the Dew Bomb. I really like the packaging of this one. I think it's really cute and it just looks like a giant lip balm. So it's a clear formula. It says on the box that this lightweight balm melts into your skin for your dewiest highlight ever. Let's go in with a little bit on my finger and I'll just tap it on. Yeah, you can see it there. I do love the look of a balm highlighter. I think they just give such a gorgeous, wet kind of glass look to the skin but I worry that they lift up the makeup underneath. This doesn't seem to be lifting anything up, thank God. Yeah, that actually is really beautiful. Ooh! And then the other highlighter I have is a collaboration with Madison Beer. I don't actually know who that is. Let me Google her. Wow, she has 23.5 million followers. Very popular. Well, this one is the Shimmer Highlighter and it's in the shade Fairy Tears. Now, I'm not usually into pink toned highlighters, but I'll give it a swatch and just see what it looks like. Hmm. Okay, this could work. It has more of a peachy tone to it rather than like an icy pink. So I'm just going to use my finger again and tap it onto the cheekbone. That is giving such a nice glow and not lifting anything up underneath. Ooh, okay, I really like both of those products. Another one I have from Madison Beer is the Luminous Setting Spray, and this is called Seal the Deal. So it says it's infused with coconut water, glycerin, and apple extract. It's a hydrating spray that sets your makeup and leaves you with a glowing rose gold finish. Look at that. Oh my god, that looks so pretty. I am a little worried if it's going to just leave me looking really, really shimmery. Let's do a practice on my arm. So oh, I always do these swatches in like the worst places. Okay, so it doesn't look too shimmery on my arm. Let's give it a go. Mm, it smells really nice. I think it's definitely made me look more glowy. I think this is the kind of spray you have to be really strategic about where you place it. Like you're not just gonna put it all over your face as a setting spray because then you're going to be looking shiny in areas you don't wanna look shiny. Like even now I feel like I look a little bit shiny just under my eyes here. Now that it's dried on my arm, I can definitely see a bit of a gold glitter. So just something to be aware of. I I don't know how much use I'll get out of a product like this because I don't want glitter particles on my face, but it does look really beautiful. And I think it'll look really nice if you have maybe just a bit deeper of a skin tone than me. 
Moving on to brows, I have another Morphe 2 product and this is the Brow Crush Tinted Gel in the shade Blonde. I am really loving the packaging of the Morphe 2 products. I feel like they're just very minimal and sleek. Even the cardboard that they come in, I don't know, it just looks a bit luxe. So anyway, onto this brow gel, a nice tiny wand, my absolute favorite, my brows. Look, I'm getting them done tomorrow. Thank God they have no bloody color to them, no shape. They're just a mess at the moment. So this is already adding a nice tint of color. It's quite pigmented. I think I actually need to scrape some of that off. Okay, I think I've gone a bit messy. <laughs> Could I have done? Am I new? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I will fix this. I will fix this. I think this is the kind of brow gel for someone who already has a nice, full, bushy brows. They have a nice shape to their brow naturally because this is just going to add that tint of color, brush them up into place, and then you're good to go, which is kind of like the whole Morphe 2 vibe, like minimal makeup. For me, as I said, my brows have no color to them. They are so misshaped. They need a lot of work and a product like this, I can't just run it through my brow and then I'm done. I wish that was the case, but it's just not. So I'm going to go in with a brow pencil and just fix these up real quick. <laughs> Okay, I've done the best I can to fix these brows, but look, they just really need some attention from a professional. For the brow gel, I think that would work best for me when I have already drawn on my brows and then use the gel afterwards. I usually like to use gel first and then fill in the gaps, but this gel is very, very pigmented, so I think it would just work better for me afterwards and going in with a very light hand. I did want to try out this Morphe Brow Cream, but I think I might have to wait for another day because of what just happened. <laughs> While I was fixing my brows, I primed my eyelids with concealer and set them with powder, and I'm going to go in with this Maddie Ziegler, the Imagination Palette. The packaging on this is super pretty, and how bloody beautiful does she look? Look at that. Stunning. So the packaging is the same as the box and it's in a cardboard, it has cardboard packaging with a mirror, lovely. These are the shades, quite a bright palette, like a few pops of colour and then some neutrals on top which I really like. There's a lot of beautiful shimmer shades. I think I'm going to be pretty boring today and just use the warm tones, because even look at this shade. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, I'm going to go in with Latte and run this all through my crease. I might deepen it up. We'll see how dark it gets. And then I'm just going to put this shimmer all over and maybe a pop of this in the center. I'm starting off with my Morphe E27 brush. This is just a nice, big, fluffy number. Okay, I quite like that color. It's coming off a bit more cool tone than what it looks in the pan, which I'm digging. I'm really into cool tones at the moment, but it is, like it does look different to what it looks like in the pan. It's blending quite nicely. I might actually go in with a smaller brush. This is actually one of my favorites from Morphe. I think it's the E17. It's like a really tiny domed fluffy brush. And I'm just going to use this to be a bit more precise with the color. Ooh, this shade is very pretty. Damn.
I also just went in with a little bit of this shade here just to warm things up because the shimmer was a lot warmer than the matte shade. I think they blended out really nicely and the shimmers look good. So I'll just go ahead and finish the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, both eyes are done. So I want to try out these metallic flare eyeshadows. I've got three shades here. Let me just give them all a little swatch. Ooh, oh, pretty. Okay, so this one here is Torch. They're very pigmented. This one here is called Drippin'. Oh my God, oh my God, I think I'm gonna love these. And then this one here is called Fury. <gasps> oh my God, they are stunning. I think I might just go in with a little bit of this gold shade in the middle here, which is dripping. And I'm just gonna lightly tap some of that in the center of my lid. Cause I feel like these are probably meant to be more used as like a full on eyeshadow, not so much a topper, but let's see how they go as a topper because that shade would have been perfect because it matches the powder that I used. Yeah, I don't think they're meant to be used as toppers, but I'll definitely have to get into those another time because they are super pigmented and they actually dried down really fast. So I think that they would stay in place quite nicely on your eyes. Ooh, for mascara, I have the Make It Big Volumizing Mascara. I love the packaging of this black sleek and then you've got like the shiny morphe branding let's look at the brush okay so it's got like that hourglass kind of brush i'm getting better than sex vibes here mm, okay i'm finding the formula to be a bit wet and clumpy see this here how they're just like sticking together a bit Oh no, I'm just going to take some off. <laughs> I'm going to take some product off the brush and see if I get a better result. Let's go in with another layer. I think that the formula is just a bit too wet. It needs to dry out a bit. I think it's got potential. My lashes do look long. They do look volumized, but they're just a bit clumpy at the moment. And I think that's because it's a wet formula. My bottom lashes look really nice. I did just get a little bit down here that I need to clean up, but they look nice and long. For my lips, I have this color pencil and it says that it can be used for the eyes and the lips, but I feel like you should only use it for one. I'm going to use it for, oh, I don't know. It's a really nice brown shade. Like I think it could be a really nice waterline eyeliner color but it could also be a really nice lip liner color. It appears that the browns I own are a lot deeper. So I think I'm going to use it as a lip liner. And then I've got two lipsticks here to choose from and these shades, oh my God, they are calling my name. So first up I have the cream lipstick in the shade Forevs. And then I have the liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. Now these are both nudie pink shades the packaging of the lipstick is really sleek. I love it. They both have that like angled lid. So let's swatch them. Oh my God, that's the lipstick. Kind of cool toned. Oh. <laughs> and then the liquid lipstick, oh my God, is a beautiful peach. These are like the two most perfect shades. I actually think I want to try out the liquid lipstick. Should I do both? Oh my God. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go in with the lip liner and we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. I think that is such a nineties vibe. Mmm. I think I might actually try the liquid lipstick because it's just a bit deeper than what I was envisioning. Let me just quickly put the lipstick on with no lip liner. Mm. Yeah, see, even that actually has come off a little bit deeper than what I thought. Absolutely love the formula though. It is very creamy and feels really hydrating. Okay, I love this shade. And it's actually a very thin 
formula for a liquid lipstick. It feels very comfortable so far. Now, see, I wonder what that would look like with a bit of lip liner. Okay, I think that might have to be a combo I try again. Mmm. Mmm. Every couple of months, I do like to do a quick reviews video where I review the products that I have been testing and trying out over the last couple of months. So I will definitely include these Morphe products in that video. And that way you can get a proper review on how I found the products after actually using them more than just once. All right, well, that is all from me. I will have all the products and shades that I used listed in the description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. I do like to test out a bunch of drugstore makeup here. So if that's something you enjoy and you aren't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I think that is all. So I hope you're all having a great day and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.